<laughs> Hello, everybody. We are so lucky today to have a local artist with us. Um, she does. She displays some of her work down at Water Street Studios, and you've probably passed by there. And uh, hopefully, sometime you'll go in there and you'll get to see some of her work. And that would pretty, be pretty awesome to get to know her. So this is Lisa Holzel, and she's going to um, describe um, her venture into the art world and how she became an artist. Um, and then she's going to show us a little, some of her artwork. So Lisa, would you like to tell us a little bit about your how you got started in art? Uh, sure. So, um, hi everybody. I'm Lisa. <laughs> I do have a studio at Water Street Studios and I'm in Studio 17 on the second floor if you ever come um, visit. And my door is open to anyone to come by. It'd be great to give you guys a tour as well. Um, definitely let me know when you're going to be there and I'd be happy to meet you in person. So, <laughs> I been a graphic designer. I'm trained graphic designer for over 30 years. So I have three kids and when the kids came I actually started homeschooling. So my career kind of went on a halt or a stop and um, once I graduated my oldest, uh, she's 20, I have a 16 year old and then I have a 10 year old. So I have been teaching at a homeschool co-op and I did history, geography, and then I got into the arts with my graphic design background. I was able to kind of go into the arts and um, 10 years ago I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and I needed to find an outlet. So I know a lot of us, middle school is not always easy, your emotions are up and down. And so I also needed to find a way to express my feelings and that's where all the arts came in. I started with an art journaling and that I have at the studio, but it kind of just looks like a book that I started drawing in and I, st I started experimenting with mediums and art mediums could be watercolor, markers, pens, charcoal, acrylics, any kind of form of medium, even a pen. A pencil those simple objects can just get you started and sparked um, with so uh, cool. artwork thank you <laughs> so I like to paint art journals and that's what what I I sell um, and this is just acrylic layered here's another assemblage of this is we call this um, paper art or you can call it collage and so I would paint the background and I use I actually like to paint with my hands so I like to just smear paint I use an old gift card the back of a paintbrush for dots I tore paper and this is layered paper so it's just two different kinds of paper that I layer and then I use a stamp and then I painted on top too just to kind of make it all blend together and these this is a sun that's a stamp and shine. So I need to find ways to express myself and it turned into um, an income for me. As an artist, I've been commissioned, I have a studio. And another fun thing, because you guys are also talking about um, recycling. So here, like a discarded um, library book. Here's an old library book. I took out the pages and what I like to do is here's one that I made and I punched holes and oh, wow. I, so these are called signatures when you have a stack here's another one that I've done to keep make it um, simple to understand like here is just scrapbook paper that I folded in a book and stapled it in the center so you guys can make your own books. I love doing that. <laughs> so anything you use at home, and this is double-sided pa uh, scrapbook paper, those 12 by 12. I like to tear the edges to make it fun. And then I just put it together in a book. So if you take a stack of papers like this, folded in half, this is called a signature. So here's 
two of them. So this is what is in my book. So these two books, one of these would be sewn in to one of these threads. So that's what's in here. So there's a booklet. So I have three booklets in this book. So that's called signatures. And then there's three books in here and I'll show you that. So this is something, this is my COVID book. So <laughs> yeah. I will do something fun on the cover. <laughs> so let me show you what I've been doing. I'm considered a mixed media artist. So I like to use um, markers, acrylic paint. I paint with my hands. You can also see the music sheet behind it. So I do like mm -hmm. a lot of layering and texture. So oh this, thank you. So this is my family. This is my COVID <laughs> booklet. And then let me show you. Let's see if I can show you the signatures. So this is one signature. It's connected with this first string here. I made holes and I sewn it together. Let's see if I can find the center of this. I think this is the center. No. Here's the center of the book. And you can see where I tied it. So here's the thread right here. And I tied that. Pretty cool. So here's the center. So this is one. Let me see if I can find it. And you can see where the book, where the book binding is here in between. So this is one signature part of the book. And then here's the other one. And then here's the last one. And then this is the back of my cover. Wow, that's really amazing. So yeah. when you are working through this, like I, I sense that there's um that the meaning that you're putting into this book has a lot to do with um protecting and prayer, and then it goes into that you're making something important that wasn't necessarily important before, like an old book is not necessarily right something that can just doesn't really mean anything until after you start doing something with it correct i did not have a plan for it or like a theme i did not have that and um i guess i've been painting my emotions you know right. we all have to express ourselves in different way and when i started the my journaling i actually started with um lyrics i write music on a piece of paper and then i'll paint it or poetry or just scribbling so i began with magazines and started tearing it and kind of mixing it and kind of seeing where it would go so like this one is also layered paper on the bottom if you can see the different textures on here and then i just painted i and i sometimes i don't know what i'm going to paint so that is how I create. I listen to um, worship music and it kind of just, I like to do, I'm actually an abstract artist. So abstract means looks like this. This is abstract. This is paper, printed paper, but abstract art is just start painting. So that is who I am and as an artist, but I've grown and I can't wait to show you. Can I show some different um, pieces of yeah. art? Yep, that'd be great. So that's my book. So here's a progression. Um, this is a charcoal that I did a while back, and then I did go back and darkened it, and I like to scribble. That's just my thing. Um, I don't like to do realistic realism, so I try to break away from that. But I've gone back to these. These are old ones that I've done. And... So I'll show you my newer ones and you can see, and I went back and added color. So here's another one that I did. Um, just charcoal. Right. This is charcoal and water. So I would make a wash to kind of smear my black charcoal. So water, a paintbrush and charcoal. This is where this came from. But then I went back and added color and also a white marker. But here, so you see these, 
I painted over an old one that I didn't like. So I painted cool. over the charcoal and this is just um, acrylics. Very cool, yeah. Thank you, so this is where <laughs> I am. Um, these are my Ooh. recent COVID ones. Right, so yeah, so tying in with um, the uh, seventh most important thing and how you have, you've taken things that are, um, they don't really have a lot of meaning to them until you start adding to them. And I, I just think that that's really a beautiful um, statement and it's just something that we all need to do when, when we need to express ourselves. And, and you do it so beautifully with your work and we really appreciate you sharing that with us. Thank so, you. yeah, is there anything else that you'd like to add to or let anybody else know? Or? Yes. Um, what, as an art teacher, I always tell my class, there is never any, there is no mistake in art. If you think you made a mistake, don't go erase it. I actually rip all the erasers of all my <laughs> pencils. <laughs> my kids are not allowed to erase because I think it really opens up that your eyes will see there is a mistake, but you can draw right over it. Um, and then you'd be surprised what comes out of it. Use crayons, use your markers, use whatever you have. Get a stack of scrap paper, fold it in half, and turn it into a book. You can create at home, draw what you see, but start giving yourself grace and forgiveness. Don't do perfection. We're, we're not made to be perfect. So I start where you are at and just copy words out of a book. Start small and see where it goes. Get a book and just start doodling. That's awesome. So, well, thank you so much for, I, you're for your passion and for sharing yourself with us today. It's been so amazing. Um, we really, really appreciate it.